Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Electric Bike Journal. In this video, we'll be talking about the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail. This is a two tray hitch mounted bike rack that most importantly can carry e-bikes. Well, like I said, the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail is a two tray hitch mounted bike rack. Right here, we have the two inch receiver option and they do offer it in an inch and a quarter. Each tray is capable of carrying up to 60 pounds per tray. When standard loaded, that load rating does decrease for RV or off-road use. When loading the bikes, there are two arms that have a ratcheting mechanism down below and extend well over that 180 degrees away. Simply pull them up, lock them on the tire, close your ratchet, and lock it in. The guide rail comes in at $850 and has a separate attachment you can purchase to extend it from a two tray up to a three tray. Again, much like RV or off-road use, when adding that extra tray, your load capacities per tray will decrease by a little bit. The guide rail itself weighs about 50 pounds on its own, making it extremely easy to pick up and move back and forth between the garage or other vehicles. Well, let's talk real quick about what Rocky Mounts includes with the guide rail. Of course, you get the guide rail hitch mounted bike rack itself, as well as a lockable anti-rattle hitch pin. They do provide a tool in the box to tighten that hitch pin into your receiver, and they provide two keys to lock that hitch pin in. Those keys happen to be keyed exactly the same as the rack itself that has an included lock on the front of the rack. That lock is meant to be paired with their heavy duty chain lock that they also send in the box. It has a big loop on one side for you to guide and make a little bit of a loop and then feed into there. And like I said, it uses the same keys, so you're sure to have a spare if you lose one. Also included in the box is this nut wrench and the hex wrench. One side is meant for that anti-rattle hitch pin to tighten that down. And the other side is used on either arm paired with that hex wrench to change the position of the wheel chuck to accommodate the different wheel sizes, again, from 29 inch down to 20 inch. For $850, you're getting a very nice and durable hitch mounted bike rack, as well as all the necessary tools to keep that rack locked to your vehicle and to even lock your bikes to the rack to help keep them safe. All right, well, now that we talked about most of the specs and details, if there are any that I missed and you have a question about, leave them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you. For now, let's move over to talking about using the guide rail. To begin, the guide rail has three positions that it sits in, so it's not always stuck out in this position. Uh, with a bike not loaded, you could release that pin and move it all the way forward and it'll lock up tight to your vehicle. Equally, if you need to get into the back of your vehicle, keep that released and you can drop your bikes on the rack all the way away from your vehicle to get into your trunk or your hatch, whatever you might need to get into on the other side of the rack and having all the room that you need to make that happen. When it comes to loading and unloading bikes off of the guide rail, they've made it as extremely streamlined and simple as they possibly can. Simply push in on that ratchet to release any tension off of it and then fold the lever away. This will free up that arm to freely move up and down away from your tire on both sides so you can get your bike on and off. Once your bike is up there, just grab those arms, pull them up in place, get it centered on the rack and pull tight on it. Now that's all tight and ratchet it in and you won't have to worry about it moving. What we like about having two arms that go up over the tires is that you can put the bikes on the trays in either direction. It is tiered on the decks as well, which makes it really convenient and easy to avoid things like pedals hitting, seats hitting, handlebars hitting, because they're on two different planes. Now bike racks have come a long ways, and for us, it's really important to find a rack that is capable of carrying an e-bike. That 60 pound tray limit is very convenient for us as most of our bikes are close to that 60 pounds or lighter. And if we're concerned about that load capacity, most of our bikes, you can remove the battery and drop quite a few pounds off of the bike, being sure that you don't have to worry about being too heavy on your hitch. Now we've been testing this rack for a few months now and have seen 
nothing fail on it. Everything has held up very well. The aluminum trays, I put this thing together, tightened it all down and nothing has come loose. Everything has stayed snug and tight and working the way it should. In addition to its construction and durability, its overall weight for a rack itself being right in there near that 50 pound mark has made it extremely convenient for myself in my own home uh, to allow other people to move it between different vehicles or not being worried if I left it in the wrong place in the garage. It isn't cumbersome and it's not hard to slide around and relocate. And I've definitely had other racks, specifically my dirt bike rack. It's very heavy steel construction. Great for trusting that my motorcycle is on there, but next to impossible for someone else to move around and relocate without hurting themselves. Overall, we are very impressed with the guide rail and we think that it is a great rack. There are a handful of things that we wish it could do that have caused minor problems for us when going to use it. This style rack with the two arms does not play nicely with fenders. Of course, on mountain bikes or bikes that have a short front fender, you're usually fine there. But bikes with a rear fender, this style of mounting does not work for that type of bike. However, Rocky Mounts does have a solution for that and offers another bike that is compatible with fenders. The only other hiccup that we found with the guide rail honestly does not land on Rocky Mounts as their problem, it lands on the bikes. Many e-bikes tend to be heavier, and if you are someone that is not quite as strong or not quite as tall, loading a heavy e-bike may prove to be a challenge. Aside from that, loading it and unloading it in the height and it being heavy really lands on the user and how your capacity is to make that happen. Well, I'm no stranger of using hitch-mounted bike racks from tray style to handlebar hanging and front tire hanging. There's a lot of different racks out there. And the guide rail has been a very, very nice, easy rack to use. I like that it folds up tight against the trunk and the profile of it looks very modern and new agey. So it looks nice on the back of newer cars. Uh, obviously a work truck looks aren't necessarily what I'm always going for, but it is a perk. After using this rack for three months, I've been really impressed with it. Everything is tight and smooth and snug and working the way it should. I have had no errors or problems and that definitely speaks to the construction of this rack, meaning it is very durable. These chucks and how they mount on the tire, you're not gonna see wear and damage on your fork or anywhere on the frame. It's plenty clear of all your drivetrain. They really thought this through uh, aside from the fender issue, but again, they have a rack solution for that. I've been really impressed with the guide rail. With well over 5,000 miles of use in these last few months, again, using it at least twice a week to shuttle bikes around, it's definitely dirty from the elements, but nothing a quick wash down won't help spruce up and bring back to life. This satin finish and coating, however they did it, anodizing powder coat, uh, it, it's really durable and it's holding up well. And again, it's not showing major signs of use from just being mounted and outside all day every day for the last few months. Well, there it is, the Rocky Mounts guide rail. If you are in the market for a bike rack to carry your e-bikes, you should definitely look into it more. $850 is something that might cause hesitation, but when you're looking at carrying your bikes and shuttling them around, finding a rack that is gonna be safe, secure, durable, strong, all the things to protect your bike and get them to where you wanna go, you're gonna have to invest a little bit and this is something definitely worth investing into. We're gonna continue to use it here through the rest of winter and see how it holds up over time. But again, after the last few months and seeing all the different types of weather, I don't think that this rack will fail us anytime soon. Don't forget, we are doing a giveaway on this Aventon Pace 500 right now. All you gotta do is go to that giveaway video, leave a comment on how you would use an e-bike if you won one, and give us a like and a follow here on YouTube. Well, thanks again for watching the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail. If you have any questions about this rack, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.